Just into our newsroom, we are now learning new details about what South Bend police are calling a double homicide investigation. 20-year-old Marion Kirk and 22-year-old Jasani Taylor have been identified as the men killed in the 4100 block of Lincoln Way West in the parking lot of the Quality Inn this afternoon. Autopsies have been scheduled for Saturday. Meanwhile, the search for a suspect continues tonight. Our team has been following this story since 2 o'clock this afternoon. You're taking a look at the scene from an apartment building not far from where the original shooting took place. Around 8 o'clock tonight, police and SWAT teams use smoke to clear the apartment building before conducting a sweep of the property. Police telling our crew on scene that this was in connection to the shooting, but a suspect was not located. WSBT 22's Asher Bookspan has been following this breaking news all night. Asher, you spoke with neighbors and an employee at the hotel near where that shooting took place. What are they saying tonight? Neighbors and an employee at the hotel having mixed reactions tonight, telling me that gunfire and violence in the area is nothing new. This afternoon, police were called to the Quality Inn off of Lincoln Way West in South Bend. Once at the scene, they discovered the bodies of two men believed to be between the ages of 20 and 22. Nearly five hours after the initial call, police cleared the scene. We asked the receptionist at the hotel who did not give us his name, but was okay going on camera if he was surprised to learn about the fatal shooting. Nothing really. I mean, it doesn't bother me any. Is that because there's a lot of shootings in the, this area? or I've been around gunfire all my life, so... Just wait till it stops and see what's going on. We also spoke with Nicole Zieber, who doesn't live far from the scene. When she heard the news, her first concern was her children. She says gunfire in the area is common and that at times she is afraid for their safety. It's terrifying to let my, get, my kids just go outside to play or whether I take them to the park that's around the corner. And, you know, you, all you hear is pop, pop, pop. So then you've got to leave and you got to get inside and you lock your doors. You shut your windows, you make your house secure because you never know what's going to happen. Zieber says she moved from her old neighborhood to the one where the shooting happened in hopes that she could get away from the gun violence. She says that it doesn't seem to matter and that wherever you go, she feels like the gunfire and violence just seem to follow her. I know the cops are doing everything that's possible, but the people are ridiculous and we need, this needs to stop. Because how long is it going to be before there's another, like, again, there's another shooting today? Two people dead. Why? This is crazy. Still have not told us about a possible motive or any more information on the suspect, besides they are still looking for that suspect. When we find out more, we will update you on air and on our website. At the Live Desk, I'm Asher Bookspan, WSBT 22 News.